Hi, I'm John Nakowicz, also known as John Berry Chip of Facebook. I'd like to talk today about implants. There's Berry Chip type of implants. There's also a neural chip implant. There's organic implants and there's a few other types. But the important thing I wanted to speak to you about is recalls, scripting, embeddings, and a couple of other things too. There's also keywords that have been done. Some people have tried putting keywords in their chips and other people's chips to make them do things to be controlled. Some people have put masterings inside of embeddings and scripts to try and do stuff to people. And I've been watching this stuff for a while. I've been trying to fix it and trying to work with some people, but they keep cutting my frequency off. I talked to somebody about a week ago, two weeks ago, that said they were trying to cut off his broadcaster. He wasn't transmitting right. Then there's a bunch of other guys that are involved in this stuff that are doing all sorts of things to people. And some of these people are claiming that they're bots. The bots are only scripting. Then they have a masking over it to hide the program, and then they try putting layers over it so you can't see what they're doing to the chips. Some of this stuff needs serious deprogramming, and I'm not sure how many people have this yet, but they're able to access computer routers that are wireless in different types of routers. This scripting and programming was very bad. They're trying to use the recalls to make people do things, trying to implant things into their mind, then using keywords and recalls to master them into doing stuff. Some of these guys have been doing all sorts of crazy stuff to people. Now, I've been working on collecting evidence, and I know there's a couple of them around my neighborhood, but not everybody knows everything. There's a couple people that keep putting these scripts back in embeddings because they have recalls in some of the chips and some people are putting it back on purpose. Some of this was deprogrammed and it didn't take too long to write a script to deprogram it. But now there are thousands and thousands of scripts going around and then there's all sorts of embeddings. And some people are trying to embed the script, but with embedded code, if you look on the internet, embeddings can be taken out, the scripts can be removed, the maskings are only the height things, they're pretty easy to remove. But other than that, they've been having some serious problems with the chip communities of the United States and some other countries. Some people have been messing with the chips, and I figured I'd tell you guys about it and inform you. So check me out as John Berry Chip at Facebook, and I'm also always on YouTube. Talk to you later.